I've been watching the, the FreeBSD YouTube channel and uh, they put up a couple of really interesting videos recently. The, the first one was the, the desktop environment installer um, preview. I'm going to have a look at that right now. So the desktop installer, I want to have a look at this because if they put this into the installer, that would be a great improvement, I think. So I'm just installing FreeBSD. This is FreeBSD 15 stable or RC4, I think it is, whichever one it is. Just running through it. No, and yes. Has another user? No. And finish. Well, now let's get that rebooted. So I'm gonna quickly, once this is rebooted, log into it via SSH and get this installed. She'll soon find out if it actually is 15 and not 16, because I've been looking at 16. And subscribe to see me have a look at that. It should be quite interesting. So let's log in as root. Yeah, so this is 15 stable. Excellent. Right, so let's get that installed. It's my editor of choice because there are a couple of things I just want to quickly do. If you hear some funny noises in the background, I, I apologize right now. Um, my next door neighbor was having his driver done. It would have been nice if he actually said, we're going to be having our drive done and there's going to be a lot of noise especially at half seven in the morning. Manners go a long way these days, but you know, what can you do? So let's restart SSH. And then let's quickly log in to the desktop. Too many keyboards. All right, so we're gonna fetch it and it is as simple as fetch. There we go. And then SH desktop. Very nice, that's just like the FreeBSD, FreeBSD installer menu. And I know why, it's because it's actually calling the uh, BSD install. We're running an Intel GPU. It's gonna be a fair few packages, 916. It'll take a few minutes to do this, so uh, I'll speed through this. The t-shirt just attracts fluff. Second attempt at doing this video. First attempt, I forgot to record the B-roll or the screen capture. Never mind. Eight hundred and sixty-six. Right, so it's extracting and installing. We're on two hundred. Whoosh. And it's Plasma 6, so that's good. I haven't used uh, Plasma 6 for a while. Six oh two, less than 100. Now my question would be, of course, would this work on 14 release? It'd be certainly interesting to see. Okay, so the interesting thing is, I've already put this user into those groups, so it's probably gonna say, yeah, which is fine. So let's check our rc.conf. I'm pretty sure it's finished. SDDM, Dbus, yeah. Okay, so all we need to do now is a shutdown, minus R now. So let's do that and watch that happen. And hopefully the uh, SDDM manager will launch itself. Let's see what happens. Yeah, as I say, I did try this just before doing this on 16 and it got into this weird flashing screen thing it may do it now and it hasn't that's great so there we go that was quick let's have a look what's going on let's move this mouse over there we go Now, as far as I know, this should be a fairly all-encompassing install, which it's not. What updates are available? Hmm? Hmm? None. 
Why are you telling me there are? Oh, there are. Well, now that's interesting. That's a lot of updates. Okay, which we're not going to use. Right, so let's um, open a console. Okay, so let's do a quick SU and let's package upgrade. Yep, that's a lot of uh, upgrades. That'll be the ones that it was talking about. Yep, that's a lot. And of course, these are all coming over the network, so it will be slightly slower. Uh, this is not what I want, though. Now, obviously, we'll do that once that's finished. Otherwise, we'll get some sort of lock error message, and we don't want that. Hmm. Let's um, let's change this to Breeze Dark. You know me, fan of the dark mode. That's better. I have to say, KD uh, Plasma Six. It is pretty, and it's fairly smooth as well. All the options on the taskbar, not the taskbar, on the start menu. That's what you want to call it. I mean, there's a fair amount there, to be fair. Here we go. Let's quickly install Firefox. One four five zero one two. All right. We've got a new one there. Lovely. Yes, please run that. Now I'm going to assume that sound is not working, even though it's saying. All right. Let's have a quick check. Uh, yeah, I'm going to assume that sound isn't working, but I'm not too too bothered by that the bestest youtube channel on the interweb okay so it is running through the speakers which you guys probably can't hear so let's have a yeah interesting that the hdmi input is not a working now i don't know if that's because this isn't working yeah i, I don't know why that's not working i'd have to I don't know. I get the feeling it's actually my capture card issue, but um, yeah. Actually, go back a minute. I want to just click on one of those videos and see what the resolution is like. Skippity skip. Okay, so it runs fine at 720. Runs fine at 1080. Can we get all the way up to 4K? We can. All right. That's pretty cool. He bit my jail to the same version as what the host is. To me, there's to you who use a specific version. Uh -huh. But there's one to do. So to do that, I'm going to do it. You can shut up now. That's fine. Let's close those. No, it ain't. Don't talk rubbish. You can go away as well. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Well, now that's quite cool. That's really cool. I didn't know you could do that. What's the night time night light? Oh, I see. It takes out blue. Yeah, I'm not so happy about that. I quite like blue in my life. <laughs> All right, getting a bit off topic here. Um, so the installer has worked flawlessly. That's very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get too bogged down with using this, but... I do want to check one thing, if I can remember what it's called. Caden Live, that's what it's called. So, package, install, Caden Live. Okay. Just because we can. That'll do. So let's get rid of that. Now, bearing in mind that this is only integrated graphics, Intel integrated graphics, I just wanted to have a look at this because if I remember rightly, when I last tried to do it, and it didn't work very well. Uh, Properties, no, that's not what we want, is it? Into project properties. Project settings, there we go. So it's on 1080, which we wouldn't use. Get out of it. All right, so you can import. Yeah, okay. I will try making a video using this one day. Two video channels, two audio channels. Mm, might be enough. You can add more though, can't you? 
I'm assuming you can add tracks, yeah. Okay, yeah. One day I will try using this. Oh, maybe I won't. You know, the interesting thing is it doesn't actually mention what resolution it is. Maybe I'm just being silly. No, you'd certainly add your own ones, but um, yeah, interesting. Um, so a new prop. Yeah, so that's much better, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, like I said, it's something I want to look at. The whole point of this video was to look at the desktop installer and that's worked perfectly. I mean, that's actually worked lovely. It downloaded a hell of a lot of packages and I'm sure there's a reason for that, but um, yeah, I need to have a look at this desktop environment. It looks a lot better than the uh, last time I used it. What do you guys think of that? The, um, the desktop installer preview looks pretty solid to me. It's worked perfectly, flawlessly. It's asked what graphics I use and bosh it's worked what do you think leave me a comment and let me know and then in the next one i'll have a look at plasma 6 it looks much much better than it did last time i looked at it for now take care see you in the next video bye bye when it goes right it goes right what no that's not what i mean no that is what i mean what am i talking about <laughs>